guys i'm back with another banger family man make sure you guys like comment and subscribe 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 we are on the way to 10k man we are pushing the 10k subscribers asap i love y'all i appreciate y'all for all the uh, all the extra support all the comments all the love man it just feels great all right so listen today we got a medical delivery all right we're going back to durham north carolina this is a total of 330 something miles that's there and back this is paying me a little over 600 dollars approximately right at 6 30 unless something happens i'll be getting paid 630 bucks um so yeah man we finna get the van ready to go down there now we got to pick up in like 45 minutes and uh yeah man just showing you guys the process i love being able to <clears throat> not only give you guys let me find some way to say this uh, not only be able to give you guys you know the insight that you need information that you need but to answer your questions you know i've been in the game now going on four years it doesn't it doesn't look like it i'm just now starting to post on youtube um, but I've had my TikTok for about four years now, as well as everything else, the business Facebook page, the Instagram page and stuff like that. So, yeah, when I first got out and I was jumping in the game, man, I was fresh. I didn't know anything. I, I, when I got started, I still had a job and a personal vehicle. And within like three months, I had sold my personal vehicle, helped me get a cargo van. And I haven't looked back since. You know what I'm saying? I jumped out there doing anything and everything using apps, primarily the roadie app and the freight app. And then from there, I got my first contract. And yeah, man, it's just been crazy. It's been crazy. You feel me? But everybody's different. You know, I'm not, I can't say that you'll start out the same way that I started out. I can't say that you'll end up the same way I ended up. You know what I'm saying? Cause I, we have to be honest with ourselves. It's overly saturated right now. There's way more people in, into it than it was four years ago. There weren't Facebook pages about it. There weren't too many YouTubes about it. You know, it wasn't a viral trend on TikTok. So now the game has changed you feel me and you gotta fight for there you gotta fight for every dollar just about and there's enough money out here like i said for all of us but realistically all of these companies aren't gonna hire all of us you know what i'm saying not all of us are qualified even if you do have your van and or or a, a regular car and you know you da, 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 they probably gonna prefer prefer somebody of two three or four years experience over someone just starting out especially if at three or four years you have all of your qualifications and the insurance already ready etc so yeah, y'all, we finna hit the road. I'll see you guys at the hospital at the pickup. All right, family, so we finally arrived here at the hospital. I don't know if y'all can see it. I'm sitting out front right now. But yeah, we finally arrived. And um, as I was on the way here, probably about 20 minutes out, I texted him. I was letting him know like, hey, this is your driver. Um, I'll be there right around 10 a.m. to pick up as we, you know, agreed upon. They immediately called me back and told me that it hadn't even been started on yet. Um, they were gonna let me know when they're about 20 minutes away from bringing it down I was like, okay, that's perfectly fine But as long as I get it by like 12 ish no later than one I can deliver it today Anything after that is gonna have to wait till the next day because it's gonna take me a certain amount of time to get there And I'm not gonna be sitting there overnight with a load I'd rather just be sitting at the crib and then go leave at the time that I need to to take it if that makes sense but yeah also i'm not really tripping over having to wait even though i made it here on time for arrival because within my contract it does say that you know whether for any um time over 30 minutes like each 30 minutes that i have to wait over the time that i've gotten there for pickup or drop off um i do get paid tonu tonal just means um what trucking order not used or something like that truck order not used um which basically just means that something went wrong um, on the customer's behalf and I'm not able to complete the task that we agreed upon because of something that they're doing. They're just late. Somebody's not there to pick up. Somebody's not here to drop off. Um, the paperwork's not done. Whatever the case may be, um, I'm tracking out all that. The company that I'm signed under, um, they're tracking all of that as well so that, you know, I get paid accordingly to the time that i'm here to deliver and the time that i'm there to drop off etc so yeah right now we're empty guys nothing back there waiting on them i'll keep you guys posted i may do a quick walk around or something like that just to get my exercise and my steps in but yeah we wait we wait we wait update y'all they said they're gonna be out here in about 15 minutes that was 10 minutes ago so got the van ready i'm gonna strap the biggest item with the orange and the green um then the minor stuff i'm gonna just wrap some bungees around it in case i gotta you know but yeah i'll let you guys know whenever this stuff comes and i get it loaded so we load it up i ain't gonna show y'all too much but yeah yeah yeah. y'all see it just got loaded up everything's perfectly strapped down 
finna get on the road ski. We're at the Shell gas station. One thing that really tripped me out about this though, let me show y'all. This is not like a regular Shell gas station. Like, look at this spot. They have a Pizza Hut, a Witch Witch in there, three floors. A uh, Shell, Shell is in there. A uh, taco spot. It just looks like, you know, a business building with a gas station at the bottom. It's pretty cool. Never seen anything like it. It looks even crazier on the inside. But yeah, guys, we're about 15, 20 minutes away. Um, they just called me and said that they'll be there at 3 o'clock. They're not even there right now. So it's like, we'll both probably be pulling up right around 3 p.m., get unloaded, head back. Just head back. You feel me? I'm getting gas right now. So as soon as I drop off, I'm on the road as far as the van will let me go. And um, yeah, within a couple of hours, the money will hit my account. So yeah, one thing I do recommend before you start doing these long loads, make sure you have some sort of cushion. Make sure you have some money saved up, some gas money, hotel money, uh, maintenance money. You never know what may happen on the road. You did what I'm saying? So you need at the very minimum, like 200, maybe, you know what I'm saying? Like 200, 300 with you. You did what I'm saying? But yep, keep you guys posted when we get to the spot. Update fam, I didn't get to show y'all the unloading process, but we are unloaded and on the way back to the crib man you dig just like to keep you guys updated if you didn't document it it didn't really happen you dig what i'm saying so i like to show you guys that yeah we truly out here getting to it we ain't new to this we true to this make sure you like comment and subscribe if you have any questions whatsoever drop them in the comment section below drop all questions below in the comment section all right love y'all be safe